Dozens of migrant men, all but a few from the west coast of Africa, huddling on a cold Thursday afternoon inside Tompkins Square Park in the East Village. For some, movement is the answer to staying warm in sub-freezing temperatures, while for others, it's all about staying fed, whether from a donated food carton or a Tupperware kit handed out by the staff at the St. Bridget migrant registration site across the street. No, it is too cold. We can say it's snowing. None of the men we met, including Barry, wanted their face shown on camera. This is not handwear, man. But all of them say they are unprepared for the bitter cold and snow, including another round headed our way Friday. Someone of us has slipped here. In the park? Yes. Even in the street. And say this is a catastrophe for us, for, for us, the migrants. East Village resident Jess Beck says her neighbors are doing what they can to help. We've been trying to outfit everyone that we can with shoes, with coats, with gloves. Over at the Floyd Bennett Field migrant site in Brooklyn, the Adams administration did distribute 2,000 packages of winter clothing during an event Thursday, which was open to the media. This is a community distribution, what you see here, migrants taking what they can, what they need. Let's break it down for you. This St. Bridget school site, it's not a shelter. This is where adult migrants come when they have already ex uh, used up their shelter time, their 30-day shelter time, so they come here to get a number. They're either sent a message on their phone, or if they don't have a phone, they're told, come back in a couple of days. But what I've been hearing is that they're afraid to leave this area because they don't want their number to come up and then miss it. They will lose their bed. There is an indoor waiting area that the city has so that the migrants don't have to sleep out on the street, but that's all the way up in Harlem. We're down in the East Village. Yes, the migrants have metro cards. They have a way to get up there, but, you know, a lot of these migrants here, they don't speak English. I used Google Translate all day from English to French, talking to a bunch of men from Guinea. They're not familiar with the way that the city works. They're being told that if they want their number uh, to take advantage of it and get a bed to stay here. So that's exactly what they do. And we know that the weather is going to take a turn for the worse in the next day or two. I'm wondering how many of them are going to end up sleeping once again on the sidewalk outside this site. We're live in the East Village this evening. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News. Mm -hmm.